Paul Trigger and I'm here today to talk about our new board, Like a Boss. Uh, this model has come about uh, from my older one, the Boss, which uh, when surfing up at Noosa in June I found it just to be uh, a little bit too full in the tail and pr probably a fraction wider than what I wanted. Uh, the new one of uh, 5 foot 10, I've dropped down to 19 3 quarters, so I lost a quarter an inch there, and I've pulled the tail in. I'll just put this one down and get the small one. So uh, with the tail, it's got the same half moon shape there, which um, was around surprisingly from about 1967, uh, when the boards were going from uh, 9 and 10 foot down to 8 foot, uh, Phil and I had the pleasure of riding a board called the Growler from Merrin, which uh, had that tail shape there on a bigger scale. We've dropped in a, uh, a stinger or a flyer. It's about 10, 11 inches up from the tail. And this has helped pull the tail in, but also uh, it has produced a really sharp edge. When you, when you do flyers, and sometimes even Clayton flyers, you can uh, develop your edge along there to be very, very sharp. And that's what we've got there. On the bottom of the board, we've got uh, around about an eighth of an inch concave starting up here, then running into a double barrel through here. So you've virtually got a quarter inch concave either side there, and then running out to a V through the tail. This board, uh, compared with the old one, definitely is a sharper turning board and comes out of the turns a little bit faster. You'll notice we've got five boxes uh, at the rear there for a setup as a four fin. Uh, or as a thruster, and I've even, uh, with mine, tried one with that little um, nub fin, just a tiny little uh, five fin in there just to get a, a little bit more direction. Uh, since riding the first demo, uh, Like a Boss, I've done another one, which is uh, 510, 19 and a half, and I've set it up at 2 and 3 eighths thick, so it's uh, a little bit finer once again, and I'm surfing that one as a, uh, a thruster, and my original one, the slightly wider one, as a four fin. Uh, with four fins, your board tends to skate across the top of the water a little bit more, so they're ideal for that really small wave size, you know, like one and a half foot up to maybe three foot. And the other board I've actually, uh, the nine, 19 and a half one, surfing as a thruster, I've surfed it down at Gunnabatta and in some waves, probably up to almost six feet at Point Leo, which some may find hard to believe, but occasionally it does get that big. Uh, on the deck, We've put um, a little bit of carbon fibre, blue carbon fibre, especially imported from Switzerland, which uh, not too many people have seen here in Australia yet. Uh, most of the other boards have got the black and, uh, black and white carbon fibre, but this is uh, special. It just uh, stiffens up the board there, plus around where you put your heel, you're going to get less dinking. Uh, as with all our glass jobs, uh, we have two full layers on the deck, and then if you can pick up the colour variation there, We've got another third layer that runs from there right through the tail. So on most Trigger Brothers boards, you get very little uh, collapsing on the deck, which is you know, a pretty key thing these days when you see how many boards cave in. Uh, the nose on our new model is a little bit more pinned. And uh, once again, that with the slightly narrower version, it's just making the board just turn that a little bit faster, a little bit quicker rail to rail. Uh, when you look at the top 50 surfers in the world, uh, they're all still riding pretty narrow boards, like probably around the 18 and a half inch mark. And uh, even though this is a small wave board, for me personally, I like to, uh, I don't like to go too wide. The boards we're making uh, are running at uh, probably five, nine, up to six foot, and then every two inches. Uh, and in most of our stores now, you can find a, like a boss, up to about six foot six. This is the bigger version down here. So obviously it, it goes out a little bit wider. Uh, this one's probably close to 21 inches because it's 6 foot 6 and it's about 2 and 3 quarters thick. So for a bigger guy that needs a bit more float, you know, you could pick one up at 6 2, 6 4 or 6 6. And even this week I've done a custom order at 6 foot 8 and uh, we're working on a, a 7 footer. So that's the new model, like a boss. It's a good sharp small wave board and uh, if you narrow it up a little bit you can ride it even a little bit bigger.